let's move on to our second and final award of the evening. This award is the Lifetime Achievement Award in the tyre retreading sector. Now, this is one of our most prestigious awards, along with the Lifetime Achievement Award in the tyre recycling sector. And once again, to announce the winner, I'm going to ask David if he can just start with a few words. OK, so uh, when we were looking at uh, the Lifetime Achievement Award in the retreading sector this year, because we're announcing it here in uh, Southeast Asia, we thought that uh, uh, the, the winner absolutely had to be somebody from, uh, from this region. So <clears throat> we decided to award the, the uh, Recircle Award this year to a gentleman I've known for 25 years uh, who has made a really significant contribution to the retreading sector during that period. So let's now have a look at a video to find out more about this year's award winner. When we realised that we would be able to launch the 2023 Recircle Awards here in Singapore, we thought it would be appropriate if this year's Lifetime Achievement Award for the tyre retreading sector went to somebody from Southeast Asia. And this year's winner has certainly had a profound influence on retreading markets across Asia over a career that has spanned over 60 years. Mr Chen Jet Hao is the former Chief Executive Officer of the Kit Long Group, which is known as being one of the pioneers of tyre distribution and tyre retreading in Malaysia. Mr Chen joined the company as a young man in 1957, and during his long career, he oversaw the group's rapid growth from local retreader to international manufacturing and trading group. He was there when the company established its first fully-fledged retread plant in Petaling Jaya in 1959. After this, he set up New Era Engineering in 1968 and expanded it into a regional equipment supply and service company. Following this, in 1969, he established Southeast Asia's first tyre industry publication, The Tyre Man. In 1975, he oversaw the production of the first pre-cured truck retread in Malaysia. Before long in 1981, he established the group's presence in tyre distribution with the establishment of Kitlong Tyre Centre, which eventually became Tyrea. And in 1990, he oversaw the establishment of the KL Tread Rubber Factory in Prai. In 2001, Mr Chen stepped aside as CEO, but he has remained active in the business and his influence on the market can still be felt today. Now, we have a message from the current CEO of the Kitlong Group, Mr Jacob Chen. It is my pleasure to be here and honour my father, Mr Chen, for receiving this prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award for the tyre retreading industries. Mr. Chen's commitment to his career is unparalleled. He has always been a mentor to me and his hard work has inspired me to be the best I can be. His passion for his work has been an example to all those who have the good fortune of knowing him. He has dedicated his life to promote quality and environmentally friendly retreat tires as a sustainable and eco-friendly choice since the early 60s. Throughout his long career of 60 plus years, he has helped work with and set up numerous successful retrading factories all over Asia. A big congratulation to Mr. Chen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2023 Lifetime Achievement Award in the Thai retreading sector is Mr. Chen Jet Hao. Mr. Chen, would you like to come to the stage, please? Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, David. I spent most of my life being in love and working in the retailing industry, starting from one curling press at the back of the tire shop. It long grew to operate five retailing factory across Malaysia. A part of that success. We also share our experiences with other retailers in the neighboring country on how to use high-end equipment to run a retreating factory. But what go up will go down also. Cheap new tire came like a tidal wave and pushed the ASEAN retreating industry into a new low. Some people even said that retreating is now a sunset industry. However, I personally believe that as long as there are transport companies and as long as there are public buses, we will continue to lead retreat. We will continue to conserve natural resources and, environment, and the environment, and the retreating will remain an indus, important industry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations once again to Mr. Chen for, for today's award, but also a big thank you to him for his contribution to the Thai retreading industry um, in Southeast Asia and, and the world over the course of his, his career.